I can protect you from Johnny Abel. You just need to give me some information. He doesn't always tell me what he's doing. But he does. But he likes you to tell him how smart he is. Well, how do you know that? I thought I've met blokes like Johnny before, and I can get you away from him for good. You need to help me. Sorry, said. Uh, Doesn't matter. Wasn't really my finger, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch yourself, boys. Now you've been landed with her, you're not going to be able to joke her much at work anymore. Come on, mate. She can't be that bad. <laughs> All I can say is good luck. I can't believe yeah, that Bill off. Parker <laughs> would have the gall to show his face around here. He must be an idiot. Well, he is here on official police business, so basically he can go anywhere he likes. Yeah, but to come here now is a bit much. Well, maybe it was uh, unavoidable. Maggie? Well, I mean, I know it's bad, but she did make a life difficult by going to the press. I mean, it's her decision to take it outside the force. She's just going to have to be prepared to take a bit of flack over the whole thing, just for a little while. Senior while. Detective Deborah Hill, relieving CI. Uh, Constable Daphne Kinley, this is Constable Maggie Doyle. If you have something to say to me in the future, Constable, do me the courtesy of saying it to my face. <laughs> <clears throat> She's going to be a barrel of laughs. Like yes, Surgeon thank you. Hashel, hey? Yes. I hope your shoulders are broad enough, mate. Those hooks carry a bit of weight. I'll be right. <laughs> Just remember, buddy, they're only clip-ons, so they can rip them off you if you stuff up. Uh, yeah, well, hold up. You can't handle pace. You get out of the race. In 24 hours, and I'll, I'll tell you how I'm going, OK? In 24 hours, you'll be a nervous wreck. No-one's going to be talking to you, because they'll all be suspicious you're going to lag to something. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, um, hello, Senior Detective Hill. This is uh, Senior Constable Nick Schultz. How you doing? Uh, Constable Adam Cooper. Uh, this is Acting Sergeant PJ Hashley. How do you do? Morning. Good to meet you all. <clears throat> you keen to get started? Where is my office? Oh, here we are. Thank you. OK. Did you uh, get a chance to read those briefs I faxed you? Of course. Right. Well, there's been some new development on the series of warehouse burgs. I spoke to an April Jamison last night. It looks like we can get Johnny Rosatano for the lot. Who are these people? Uh, April works at the uh, Imperial and Johnny's her scumbag boyfriend. And how do they figure in the burgs? Well, according to uh, April, uh, Johnny's been hanging out with some out-of-towners, uh, Sean and Michael Murphy, and it looks like they're going to hit a warehouse at Prescott Lane tonight. <laughs> now, why... Would she dog on her boyfriend? Well, April suspects that Johnny's been having a bit on the side and... So she'd uh, be more than happy to see Rossitano put away? That's right. Then it's also fair to say that she may have set you up? No, I think I can tell if someone's lying to me, which is why I think we should set up the OP at the warehouse tonight. Thanks for your suggestion. It's our opportunity to get Rosatano and the Murphys for the lot. If your information is correct. Well, can we at least check out Owen Douglas? Who is... Owen Douglas owns the warehouse they're supposed to hit. Now, now, I think he could be involved. It could be some sort of insurance scam. I'll look into it. It's tonight. And you're not CI anymore. Now, it's my case. So leave it with me, all right? Anybody else would be grateful for the information. But I don't know. Not her. Not her. I mean, she's suffering, so we have to suffer along with her. The stress could be getting to her. It's understandable under the circumstances. Sure, boss. Sure. But just because she's got a problem with Bill Parker doesn't mean she has to take it out on me. I mean, I'm not trying to intimidate. I'm not trying to put the hard word on her. I'm just trying to do my job. You could be reading this all wrong, PJ. She accused me of interfering with her case. Her case? Well, she's right. It is her case. Well, I was on it before she got well, here. Well, you're not anymore. You're working for me now, Sergeant. And I'm telling you to give her some space and let her settle in. Give me some space as well. Go. I've heard so many versions of this. Who said what to who? Did he or didn't he? Adam, it's pretty obvious. Bill Parker sexually harassed her and she made a complaint. Now she's been shifted aside and there's going to be a hearing. We don't know that for a fact. Oh, I suppose Parker gave you his version of the story last night, did he? Well, whatever. She's a silly girl for going to the press. Girl? Oh, Woman, grown-up, big person, oh, whatever. No, We've no, got a system no. to resolve these matters internally and they should be used. Yeah, well, we don't know that Deborah deliberately leaked it. Yeah, well, it's made reconciliation a lot harder to achieve, isn't it? What's he like? Bill Parker, mm. he's a good man. Yeah, he's all right. Oh, so he's a good man as in he does his job well? Or is he a good man as in he's your average big kind of bloke? Both. Yeah. He's a good cop. He cracks your blue joke, but he's harmless. As long as you're not black, Asian, disabled or a woman. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, Thomas, please come I have some inquiries to make. I'll be back in a while. 
Sure, can you give us a list of those stolen goods, please? Mate, when you reckon she's going to thaw her out? Better be bloody soon. Hey, hmm. where's she gone? I don't know. Did she say what she was doing? Uh, no. And what do you mean? Well, why didn't you ask her? Well, because she's CI and she comes and goes as she pleases. Like you always did. Senior Detective Hill, was she here? She might have been. You're checking up on her. No, of course not. But was she? She came and she went. Right. Did she? Uh, did you speak to April? She did. Uh, any idea what they talked about? Now, what sort of an employer would I be if I started eavesdropping on my staff? Well, you may have accidentally overheard something. Well, I didn't, and even if I did, I don't think I'd be telling. April is helping me with my inquiries. <laughs> is that what you call it? Chris, it's purely professional. Yeah, it's a bit hard to tell sometimes. Oh, thanks very much. Well, I'll be getting back. Hey, before you go, do you want to take these while you're here? Sorry, Chris. So I just need to collect lunches. <laughs> but what sort of business was it? Where have you been? Oh, I just had to pop out for a second. Well, next right. time you have to and pop out for a second, Sergeant, right? please let someone know, preferably me. Mate, 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 no more striving off. Terrific. Those days are long okay, gone. Thank you very much for your help. Uh, Bye-bye. Mate, how long has Deborah been back? Uh, a little while, why? Uh, nothing. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Yep. Uh, Deborah's been talking to April at the pub. Uh, yes, and you could have stayed here and found that out. Oh, what's she up to? She is up to investigating a bloke called uh, Owen Douglas. Ah, so she took my advice. Mm -hmm. Good advice it was too, because he sounds like a shock. Mm. Can I uh, give her this? Sure, and just don't expect her to get down on her knees and kiss your feet. Yeah. Information you wanted on Owen Douglas? I asked Constable Dole for that. Just passing it on. Now, his business went down at St David's about 18 months ago, and he's behind in his rent in his new place, so... Uh... Mm, well, that fits the profile of the previous targets. So where do you want to go from here? On the strength of this and my discussion with April, I think we should move on it. I'd like to request the use of some of your uniforms for an OP tonight. Fine. Uh, but we need to be careful because if Douglas is in on the scam... We don't need his cooperation. I did a recce of the area around the warehouse... Oh, you're going on. Recce, was that wise? I'm a new face. Nobody knows me. Right. So what do you suggest? Well, the neighbouring premises here offers good protection, so when they drive in, we won't have any problem blocking their escape. You have done your homework, huh? I usually do. OK. Well, I'll go out there and make arrangements and I'll be able to supervise the whole operation. Oh, I'd rather you weren't, Sergeant. Sorry? Could she do that? Like, there's a directive somewhere on my desk that says Sergeant should get out in the field. Not on this one. I helped set it up. And now you want to run it? No, 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 no. I just want to see it what through, you get out there at night and start contradicting each other? Boss, I, I know when to step back. You and I both know the temptation will be too great. This is Deborah's call. All right, so you're clear about the operation? Yep. Any last minute concerns? Yep. Or ask me any questions at all? Yes. All right, no. I won't leave the station until you're back with the offenders, okay? Thanks, mate. You'll be waiting here with a nice cup of tea for us, will you? Yes. Yeah, sure. All right, everybody ready? You yep. all know the drill. Let's go. All right. Good luck. Ciao, mate. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Go ahead, 308. We've been here for two hours now, PJ, and there's still nothing to... Mags? Maggie, what's that? What's that noise? Uh, we've got an audible alarm. We'll get back to you. Maggie? It's not coming from the warehouse. You'll still have to check it out. Use caution. Alarms in 10 minutes, my functions, maybe. We don't have a choice. You'll have to check it out. Yeah, but maybe it's a decoy to pull us away from here. I'll be here. Cooper, you go down. Schultz, you check along the landing. Keep in radio contact. Well, Do as you're told, Schultz. Thomas 203 on local. Request an ambulance to shoot. Be all right, 
you all right? Did you move her? Injured, no. You right there? Deborah, are you OK? Somebody pushed me. Don't get up, you'll be right. Just stay there. Go in the back and still might be in the yard. It was you. You pushed me, you bastard. Then what did you do? Well, I checked the door at the top of the landing. It was locked. Maggie and Dash took uh, Deborah Hill off to the hospital and then we checked the yard and the line, there was nothing there. Yeah, I went straight to the hospital. She was in casualty. She was pretty badly shaken up. She had a couple of bruises. She was insisting on going home as soon as I'd finished. So she's going to be taking the day off? I, uh, I don't think so. Deborah, how are you? On my feet. No thanks to Constable Schultz. Uh, surely you're not suggesting that Nick had it. He pushed me. It's ridiculous. You were the only one up there. It's at you. An official inquiry will determine. We won't discuss that here, thank you. Would you like to step into my office? You need your head red. Where are you going? Will you two just type up your reports? <sighs> would you leave us alone, please, Sergeant? Well, how long will you be? As long as it takes. Shut the door, would you please? Take a seat, Detective. You made a very serious accusation, and frankly, one that makes no sense to me at all. It seems fantastic, doesn't it? But we'd been there for two hours, we thoroughly checked the place, and there was no one else up there. You sure you didn't just uh, trip on the stairs? I definitely felt two hands in the middle of my back, and someone pushed me. What hard. makes you think it was Schultz? Well, he's had it in for me since I arrived. Why? Because I'm a whistleblower. No one has a problem with the stand you're taking, and even if they did have, I can't believe any of them would be stupid enough to resort to physical violence, especially not while you're on the job. No one here is judging you. <laughs> yes, they are. I saw them drinking with Bill Parker the night I arrived. They've already decided I'm a neurotic bitch who had the gall to accuse my superior of harassment. They don't have a problem with that. They're responding towards your attitude to them. We need to work as a team, and you have to trust us. I have trusted my colleagues before, and some of them have let me down badly. Yeah, if anyone who blows the whistle on corruption or stands up for a cause has to expect to take some flag. I accept that, but that doesn't make it any easier. No, of course it doesn't. I, I accept the fact that you were pushed, but I am sure it wasn't Schultz. Now, do me a favour. Hold off making an official complaint until I've had time to look into the matter. Right, now that Madam has had a tantrum, let's do some real work, eh? Madam isn't the only one having a tantrum. Look, well, I've organised Nick and Mags to have a chat to Johnny Rosatana concerning his whereabouts PJ, last night. you can't do that. It's her case. You have to leave it to her. Oh, somebody set off the alarm. Somebody pushed her now. She is so convinced that it's Nick. She's not going to listen to her anything. It's her case. OK, all right. But make her take one of the uniforms. You can't expect me to make her do anything any more than I could make you do things when you were in What CI. are you talking about? You used to tell me what to do all the time. Yeah, look how much notice you used to take. <sighs> All right, all right. Stop huffing and puffing. We'll go and have a talk to her quietly and reasonably. See what she says. Now, considering April's unhealthy relationship with Johnny, the gang may have had doubts about her loyalty. Word must have got back about PJ talking to her, so he was forewarned. He might have even been the person that pushed you. Or one of the others, if it wasn't Alan Douglas himself. You're not trying to back out on your commitment to me, are you, Not yourself? at all. But surely you must be open to other alternatives. Of course. So Rossitano is still a contender. That hasn't changed. OK, so when you go, I'd like you to take someone with you. You see, Johnny's not a particularly nice person. And... Oh, I can look after myself. Look, as I've explained to PJ, the decision is entirely yours. But to be honest, I'd prefer it if you took somebody with you. She asked for me? That's right. Why would she do that? You're a woman. So is Maggie? She relates to you. Can't imagine why. You're the most inexperienced member and the least threatening. Oh, thanks very much. Whatever the reason, McKinley, you just do as I ask, OK? I want you to report on everything, understand everything. Wait. You should remember, I'm your sergeant now. I can make your life hell. Mm. I'm glad you're taking this so well, PJ. 
Well, we're all going through a learning curve at the moment. Boss, I just need time to adjust. Yeah, I might adjust to this. Portfolios, parades, vehicles, station assets, special events, dress codes. That should keep you busy for oh, a while. I'll get right onto it. You should, mate, because remember, with Frank comes responsibility. Now, how could I forget? We all know that God put you on this earth to remind me. Indeed, the old Hey, mm. boss, is it all right to take a run over to St David's? What for? Senior detective here wants me to take this to forensics. What is it? The ballistics vest. She wants to see if they can lift a print. Don't tell me she still thinks I pushed her. She must. But even if I had, and I'm beginning to wish I did, you know, I mean, she'll be lucky to get anything off that surface. Seems she doesn't have much faith in any of us, mate. You'd better go. What the hell does that woman think she's doing? <laughs> what the hell do those guys think they're doing? <laughs> love me, love my children. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. Making too much noise for you. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> she likes the joke. What else do you like, darling? Mr. Rostana. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm senior detective here. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Would you turn your radio down, please, Mr. Rostana? <laughs> are you happy now? Much better, thanks. Who are your mates? Sean and Michael Murphy. Two musos from Sydney. Oh, got yourself a gig in town, have you boys? We're in between engagements. That's showbiz talk, Val, to work. <laughs> is that your van? Yeah, it is. What's in it? Oh, just our stuff, instruments, clothes, sleeping bags. Mind if I take a look? Be my guest, darling. What are you here for? <laughs> we heard you had a couple of visitors. And that's a crime now, is it? No, Mr Rossitano. But there's been a spate of burglaries in the district and we're investigating all newcomers to town. Oh, you know, our sainted mother would be doing a somersault in her grave if she thought we were suspected of being burglars. Then you won't mind telling me where you were last night? Here, watching the tally. Sound of music. One of my favourite things. That's singing heavenly, like angels. Oh, it's none. It was close there. <laughs> You're right. All three of you? All four of us. April was with us. Didn't she tell you that? I haven't spoken to April. That's not what she told me. I haven't spoken to April today. Well, maybe you should. Johnny and the boys didn't hit the place last night, April? No, they were off their faces. They sat in front of the telly and downed beers all night until they were paralytic. They could barely stand, let alone pull a job. What were you watching? The Sound of Music. Well, you should try sitting through a movie with two drunken Irishmen singing every bloody song. Johnny was there too? Yeah, of course he was. So you had your facts wrong? Oh, I must have. And last night convinced me there's no way any of them could be involved in those robberies. They're all too stupid. Have you been threatened? I'm not in any danger. April. Someone pushed me off a landing at the warehouse last night. Now, that's in a different league to burglary. So you be careful. Damn, any, any signs that Rosatana's come into any money? Well, the GT looked like I had a new paint job. Should have seen the gold jewellery weighing him down. He's doing all right for somebody who's on the dollar, isn't he? <laughs> April did back up his story. I reckon she's been frightened off. Mm, so if Owen Douglas is relying on the insurance money, he's going to be pretty browned off. The gang didn't come through. We should check him out next. How am I supposed to suggest that to Deborah without it sounding like it's come straight from I you? don't know. Give me a minute. I'll think of an angle. Come on, McKinley. We're off to see Owen Douglas. Is that OK with you, PJ? If you think it's best. It's a nice angle. The district seems to be undergoing a bit of a renaissance. We're investigating a series of burglaries to warehouses very similar to this one. Just doing routine security checks, offering advice if people are interested. Very proactive of you. <laughs> so, do you think your security could stand up to a break -in? I'd like to think so. Oh, you need to be sure, Mr Douglas. You could be the next victim. Look, feel free to uh, contact me if you have any queries or want some advice on updating your system. Thank you, Detective Hill. And uh, if uh, you're looking to paint your house, give me a call. I've got some superseded colours at a nice price. Fashion changes almost as quickly as we develop stock these days. <laughs> we'll keep it in mind. Thanks a lot. Definitely shifty. Oh, yeah, it takes years of practice to get that touch of sincerity. sincerity. Get stuffed, you know, the old bitch. April! April! Hello, Mr. 
Thomas Police Constable. Why am I doing this? Because I need another skill, Margaret, because I've got to have an occupation after I get the shove from the police force after pushing a pushing detective off a stair landing. Nobody seriously thinks that you did it. Hey, PJ, fine. It's Chris. Sounds really important. Hello, Chris. Here you go. Into the GT. When was this? Righto, thanks. April's in trouble. We've got to talk to Rosatano. I have to talk to Rosatano. Would you like to tell me what's happened? Ah, oh, you're back, officers. Lovely to see your beautiful faces. Oh, Mr. Rosatano or Miss Jamison at home, Mr. Murphy? Oh, no, it's just me and my brother, Michael. As you can hear. When was the last time you saw them? Ah, oh, I saw April when she went off to work this morning. <laughs> And Johnny. Oh, he went out. Oh, that's right. He said he was going to go pick her up. Well, we'd like to take a look around, if you don't mind. I don't mind, darling, but uh, it's not my house. And I can't be letting you in without a warrant. Now, can I? So why didn't you search anyway? Deborah didn't think we had reasonable grounds. What? What? You could have been strangling her in the bedroom. You're chatting away in the front door. PJ, porch. we don't even know if April's missing yet. At it again. I'm sick of you checking up on me. When are you going to learn to butt out? When you start getting it right, senior detective. <laughs> That's it. Now you've done. I am trying to run this case, and he is stepping all over me. He's sneaking McKinley around behind. McKinley was reporting <laughs> to me. He's hiding out in the locker Wait, room. we were not hiding. Oh, he's quite obviously pumping her for I'm information. I'm entitled to know what's going Why on. Why don't you just ask me for an update? Because you would say I was interfering. Well, right? you are, constantly. Look, you have to understand, Deborah, that PJ's been in charge of CI here for several years. It's very difficult for him to let go. Look, you asked me to trust you, and, and I've been giving Schultz the benefit of the doubt. Now, how about you trusting me to run this case? If you were on the ball... The other night, you would have apprehended the assailant. Don't you try and dump this mess in my life because I am not going to be anybody's scapegoat. Now listen, whatever your personal differences are, you are to set them aside and deal with the case at hand. Is that clear? Yes, boss. Now, have you applied for a warrant? Not yet. Then can I suggest that you do? Ah, you're getting to be a regular around here, darling. You can address me as Senior Detective Hill, and I'm nobody's darling. Excuse me. Of course you're not. Have you seen Johnny yet? Sorry. Ah, he's very affectionate. Wake him up. Do it gently. Or I cannot take responsibility for the language. Um, Mr Murphy, excuse me, this is uh, Constable Dorff from Mount Thomas Police Station. Yeah. We're looking for April Jamison. We suspect she may have met with foul play. Um, excuse me, Mr Murphy. Oh. Search the van again. Mr. We Murphy. could be looking for a body. Oh. That's as good a place as any to hide. Mr Murphy, would you mind letting go of my leg, please, or I'll arrest you for obstructing a member of the police force. Oh. Thank you. Anything? Nothing so far. So yeah. That's Clay. He's washing the car. Let's go straight through and sit down, please, Mr. Rossitano. Thank you. Do you want me to send off for analysis? Yep. I'd like to sit in on this detective. Oh, I don't think so, Sergeant. McKinley and I'll handle it. April gets into the car. As soon as her bum hits a seat, she starts nagging me about marrying her. So we fight. She screams, stop the car! She's hysterical. She gets out and walks off in a huff. What time was this? Ten past three, quarter past. Where did the clay on your shoes and tyres come from, Mr Rostana? Don't know. I got out of the car to go after April. Maybe it was on the street somewhere. I was thinking about other things. Did you happen to remember which way April went? I was pretty upset. So I just took off and drove around. Drive around? What? The block? Around, OK? Just around. Can anyone verify this? Only her cousin Doreen. I was running low on juice, so I uh, stopped in at the roadhouse to fill her up. What time? Four. Do you have any idea where April is right now, Mr Rossitano? Balling her eyes out someplace? I don't know. And right now? I don't bloody well care. 
He's good on times, not places. He can tell us when he dropped April off, when he was at the roadhouse, but not where he was in between. Well, are you going to hold him? At least until I have a chance to speak with April's cousin. Well, we, we should stretch it out for a bit, because if he gets the jitters, he could take off. I'm aware of that, but we don't have anything on him. We still need to locate April. Well, we've checked the motels, hotels. She hasn't registered anywhere, and she hasn't taken a rental car. No, check out trains and buses, too. Okay. She might have picked up a ride. Or gone over to a girlfriend's. Yeah, well, it, it appears that uh, she hasn't moved out of the house because there's clothes still in the wardrobe and there's cosmetics and toiletries mm -hmm. still in the bathroom. Well, Johnny says she took off. 3.15 from Violet Street. And then was at the roadhouse by four, home washing his car at quarter past. Right, so if Dorian can't substantiate his alibi, that means it's an hour on a counter. Good boy, you go. Yeah. Forensics with these clay samples, show me. Clay samples? Well, from Rosatano's shoes and tyres. What? You should have told me. Why? 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 Because I'm the one who brought April into this, that's why. Now, if Johnny's right, dumped her right, in a shallow right, grave... PJ, that's enough. Because, detective, in a small town like this, a little teamwork goes a long way. As far as I know, the only place you would find clay like this is Brick Hill. How far away is that? 20 minutes. 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back. Time for him to get home and wash his car. Rossitano said it was running low on fuel. All right, Nick, Adam, get on to the old brickworks, thanks. And uh, Maggie, check the real estate agents. I want you to check hang out. On. Fucking... What? Is that what you want to do? It's nice to be asked. Yeah, if you're sure about the clay samples, that's what I'd do. Boss, the old Ramsey place backs onto the brickworks. Fresh tar tracks, one vehicle. This is it. Radio Doyle and Cooper at the Brickworks. Tell them to get over here right away. Mount Thomas 203 on local to Mount Thomas 208. the station let them know. Mount Thomas 203 are local to Mount Thomas station. Go ahead McKinley. We've searched the farm thoroughly boss there's no sign of April anywhere. Could be time to look for other possible locations. Maybe the claim was just Hold a code. Deborah over here. Well, what is it what you found? God this I don't know. You grab that end. Who did this to you? Johnny didn't do it. It wasn't him. He didn't do it. She's alive. Repeat. She's alive. Come on, let's get these off. It's okay. We dropped April off at the hospital and took a statement. How is she? Mostly facial bruising and a few abrasions. No broken bones. She's still sticking to the story about the stranger? Yep. She claims that uh, she was upset after the fight. Some guy offered her a lift home. She asked him to take her to a girlfriend's place, but he drove out to the farm, beat her up and left her there. Did she give a description? Could fit anyone. It's next to useless. She's very vague about the details, including the make and model of the car. She puts it down to shock. Did this mystery man sexually assault her? No. Steal her money? No. So we're being asked to believe that her assailant took her out there and for some unknown reason changed his mind. Well, she reckons that he planned to come back a bit later on. Oh, right, sure. Well, I think she just likes the idea of us all sitting around waiting for something to happen. Did, did you happen to mention that we had Johnny in custody and if she was willing to put him in for assault that we could charge him? Yes, of course I did. But she's too scared of him. If we want him, we're going to have to get him without any help from April. We still don't have anyone who saw him with April between 3.15 and 4. But his alibi can't be verified either, well, can and Jackson confirmed he called in during the afternoon. Couldn't give us an exact time, though. We have to let him go. I told you I wasn't involved, but you wouldn't believe it till you heard it from that lag and dog of a girlfriend of mine. I'm very upset about all this. So is April. Yeah, well, serves a silly bitch right for jumping into a car full of strangers. If that's what she did. You women are all the same, aren't you? Hot for it any time. Bit of a grope in the back seat Careful, of a car with a hot-blooded real man, you'd go for that, wouldn't you? You watch your mouth! a real woman. Whatever turns you on, eh? I want you to know that I'll be keeping close watch on April's progress. Yeah? When you get bored of watching April, you can come and watch me. <laughs> what about me, mate? Am I invited? <laughs> can you believe him? Although, Deborah, you and he would make a lovely couple, don't you think? Tooling around the back of the old GT. <laughs> Nick. What? Good on you, Nicholas. Uh... You're right. Uh, sorry about that. I mean, I wasn't really. Yeah. No, I overreacted. Hey. I did, I, it's a bit close to Bill Parker. Oh, yeah, 
think I'd be used to this kind of thing by now. And I just stand there, furious with myself because I don't know what to say or, or what to do to make it stop. Yeah, well, you're over it now. It's a right? power game. It is. No, they try and they make you feel helpless. It took me a long time to figure that out. God, I must be really naive or something. Look, uh, Deborah, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly did Bill Parker do? I mean, what was that? Well, he didn't rape me or chase me around the office, if that's what you want to know. Well, what did he do? <laughs> the kind of things lots of guys do when they've had a few drinks. Friday night barbecue, just after I'd started, he tried to grope me. Why do you call that sexual harassment? No, of course not. And if that's all it had been, I, I wouldn't have worried about it. But then, you know, I started to do most of his job as well as my own. You see, he was so busy being a good bloke. He never did anything. So he thought you were showing him up? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, after that, everything was sex. Continuous sexual innuendo, smutty jokes, dirty messages left on my computer, that kind of thing. <laughs> the rumours. I went from being the station bike to being Fritchard to being a lesbian. Is that why I went to the press? I tried official channels. But they were the same guys sniggering with Bill over a few beers. See, no one took me seriously because he never actually assaulted me. Deborah, you do have a hearing date now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And for the moment, I just... I just want to get on with my life. There is a way to get Johnny for kidnapping April. Yeah, sure there is. We force him to confess. Oh, now, humour me for a minute, will you? Now, if Johnny was nabbed for the Bergs and remanded in custody, then maybe April would have the courage to tell the truth. Well, simple. All we have to do is catch Johnny in the act. Yeah, and how do we do that? By putting pressure on Owen Douglas. Uh, well, look, I've, I've spoken to Major Fraud Squad. He hasn't been charged with no, anything. Well, he's currently being investigated by the Australian Securities Commission. Well, look, um, do you want to run it by Deborah? You wouldn't be holding out on me again, would you, PJ? No, no, um, Sergeant Hashem was uh, suggesting that maybe we could get Rossitano and the others by using Owen Douglas. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Mm, well, we have enough information on Douglas to get him to cooperate. How? Well, we could get him to contact the Murphy boys and they could finish the job. Absolutely no way. Come on, Mr Douglas, you've had three businesses in the last four years and they've all fallen over. I had a bit of bad luck. Oh, really? Well, what went wrong? Oh, a combination of things. Star problems, I made a few bad decisions, the state of the economy in general. You left a trail of unpaid debts and angry creditors. I'm financially embarrassed. That's not a crime. No, but it is a crime for you to conspire with others to have your business burgled for the insurance money, Mr Douglas. You want names? Johnny Rosatana, Murphy Boys? What do you want from me? We want you to approach them again, sir. Oh, they wouldn't go for it. It's too soon. No, this is easy. You approach them, say you've been talking to us, we're off the trail, and we're just looking for answers elsewhere. And what do you do for me? We'll put in a good word for you. Johnny's a mean bastard. I mean, I heard about the girlfriend. Nothing can happen to you, Mr Douglas. If you play your part right, we'll have him in custody, where he can't hurt anyone. Go. This is the stuff that has to go. Move in. Load her up. Mr. Rosatano. 
Where were you? Well, it looked like we had the situation under control. She kicked me in the ribs, man. Mate. mate, senior detective Hill wouldn't do that. She'd go for the nuts. <laughs> Who have we here? Sean and Michael Murphy. The musicians. I'm a political prisoner. Oh, take the Mount Thomas too. That one into my eye. Interview room, thanks, Constable Dorr. Just through here. Johnny can tell us how to afford the new paint job on the GT. Deborah brought him down. I have an apology to make. Rossitano admitted he pushed me off the landing. It won't make sense. Except no one heard the admission. Except me. Thought I took care of you last time. Come back for more, bitch. You're not just a pretty face. Well, unfortunately for you, Johnny, I overheard your admission to Senior Detective Hill just before she arrested you. I didn't say nothing. Your word against two sworn members. I don't like your chances in court, mate. This silly bitch should have gone with the others. Then what? You're going to rob the warehouse while we're away. Well, we could have knocked the place over before your dozy mates got back, but no, you had to hang around. So who told you about the raid, Johnny? April, of course. I knew she wanted to get even, and when I heard she was talking to you lot, I put two and two together. I'm not stupid. No, you're not, are you, mate? So to teach her a lesson, you bashed her. You tied her up. You just left her there. No. Someone else did that. Remember? We've charged him with offences relating to the burglaries, but we can't get him on kidnapping or assaulting April. In the presence of the clay in his shoes and his ties isn't enough. We need a witness. We need April to give him up. April, oh, sweetheart. Mate, Johnny, I'm really trial. sorry, April, Johnny. There's no reason to be. She's obviously still terrified of him. I'm convinced that she has nothing to worry about. I loved him. I thought he loved me. Did he love you when he, he assaulted you and dumped you? April, Johnny is going to prison. You don't owe him any loyalty. He doesn't feel the same way you do, April. That's why he's capable of doing the things he did to you. Because he doesn't have any remorse. You're free now. I don't want to be free. I want things to be the way they were. We were happy. That wasn't happiness, April. Believe me, life can be so much better. Why don't you give yourself the chance to find someone who really loves you? Because you can. You're safe now. Johnny can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> you made me lie on the floor of the car so no one would see me. And then he dragged me out by the hair and laid into me. He wasn't coming back for me. He was going to leave me there. Since taking action against Detective Sergeant Parker, my eagerness to prove myself as a capable member has dominated my life. I was determined not to let his influence destroy what I set out to achieve by joining the police force. But the strain of trying to keep going has worn me out. Oh, I understand that. I know I have become defensive and suspicious of people's motives. That's not unusual. Stop being so nice about this, Senior Sergeant. I've been a pain in the neck. I think we've all been on a pretty steep learning curve. I still cause problems for you and your team, and that wasn't fair. So I think it best that once the hearing is over, if I resign... No, 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 don't do that. Maybe I'm not cut out for the job. Maybe I'm never going to fit in. Did you feel like that when you went to Evanley? No. I felt good about being a policewoman. I felt good about myself. Then that's the feeling you should go with. What you need is a holiday. Take some time off and consider your options, but don't do something that you'll end up regretting later. Thanks, boss. You know, sometimes I wonder, would I have felt better if I hadn't done any of this? I think you already know the answer to that. <laughs> Anything I should know about? Deborah was just on the verge of resigning. Well, she can't do that. No, that's what I told her. 
Look, if anything that I've done has had a bearing on your decision to leave the force... It has nothing to do with you, PJ. Besides, I haven't made up my mind yet. It's a woman's prerogative. Sorry. It's all right, PJ. Relax. That's what I'm going to do. Take a break somewhere far away from all of this, and then in six months, who knows? Well, I could have been... I could have been more help to you. If you were any more help to me, I think I would have shot you, PJ. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> You're a hopeless case. Can I confide in you? Sure. Since I've gone back into uniform, I've... Uh, I've discovered something about myself. And what's that? I'm a lousy sergeant. <laughs> I've seen worse. Nah, I'd rather be CI. Unaccountable, out, out on the field. What you're actually saying is that you can't work with another detective without sticking your oar into their investigation. Yeah, that's what I'm actually saying, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let me pass on some advice your boss gave me. Go with your feelings. Do what comes naturally. Oh, oh thank you, you're a great... Another round? My nice shout. Oh, no, 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 it's my party, I'll buy. She's starting to get used to her, now she's going. <laughs> when does uh, Deborah's replacement arrive? You're looking at him. Yeah, yeah I haven't yeah. been stuck in that giggle suit anymore, could I? Not that it doesn't suit both of you. So I've, uh, I've withdrawn from the position. You've given up the hooks, mate. Mm. Yeah. So, congratulations, Sergeant Schultz. Acting Sergeant. Well, I'm not sharing an office with you. You're not going to be asked. <laughs> well, my shout then, what do you want? Oh, top shelf. I can protect you from Johnny Abel. You just need to give me some information. He doesn't always tell me what he's doing. But he does. He likes you to tell him how smart he is. Well, how do you know that? I thought I've met blokes like Johnny before, and I can get you away from him for good. But you need to help me. So he said, uh, doesn't matter. Wasn't really my finger, lady. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch yourself, boys. Now you've been landed with her, you're not going to be able to joke very much at work anymore. Come on, mate, she can't be that bad. All I can say is good luck. I can't believe yeah, that Bill off. Parker would have the gall to show his face around here. He must be an idiot. Well, he is here on official police business, so basically he can go anywhere he likes. Yeah, but to come here now is a bit much. Well, maybe it was uh, unavoidable. Maggie? Well, I mean, I know it's bad, but she did make a life difficult by going to the press. And it's her decision to take it outside the force. She's just going to have to be prepared to take a bit of flack over the whole thing, just for a little Senior while. Senior Detective Deborah Hill, relieving CI. Ah. Uh, Constable Daphne Kinley, this is Constable Maggie Doyle. If you have something to say to me in the future, Constable, do me the courtesy of saying it to my face. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be a barrel of laughs. Like yes, Sergeant thank Hashel, you. hey? Yes. I hope your shoulders are broad enough, mate. Those hooks carry a bit of weight. I'll be right. <laughs> Just remember, buddy, there are only clip-ons, so they can rip them off you if you stuff up. Uh, yeah, I'll hold up. You can't handle the pace. You get out of the race. In 24 hours, and I'll, I'll tell you how I'm going, OK? In 24 hours, you'll be a nervous wreck. No-one's going to be talking to you, because they'll all be suspicious you're going to lag to something. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, um, hello, Senior Detective Hill. This is, uh, Senior Constable Nick Schultz. How you doing? Uh, Constable Adam Cooper. Uh, this is Acting Sergeant PJ Hashley. How do you do? Morning. Good to meet you all. <clears throat> you keen to get started? Where is my office? Oh, here we are. Thank you. Okay. Did you uh, get a chance to read those briefs I faxed you? Of course. Right. Well, there's been some new development on the series of warehouse burgs. I spoke to an April Jamison last night. It looks like we can get Johnny Rosatano for the lot. Who are these people? Uh, April works at the uh, Imperial and Johnny's her scumbag boyfriend. And how do they figure in the burgs? Well, according to uh, April, uh, Johnny's been hanging out with some out-of-towners, uh, Sean and Michael Murphy, and it looks like they're going to hit a warehouse at Prescott Lane tonight. <laughs> now, why... Would she dob on her boyfriend? Oh, well, April suspects that Johnny's been having a bit on the side and... So she'd uh, be more than happy to see Rossitano put away? That's right. Then it's also fair to say that she may have set you up? 
No, I think I can tell if someone's lying to me. Which is why I think we should set up the OP at the warehouse tonight. Thanks for your suggestion. It's our opportunity to get Rosatano and the Murphys for the lot. If your information is correct. Well, can we at least check out Owen Douglas? Who is... Owen Douglas owns the warehouse they're supposed to hit. Now, now, I think he could be involved. There could be some sort of insurance scam. I'll look into it. It's tonight. And you're not CI anymore. Now, it's my case. So leave it with me, all right? Anybody else would be grateful for the information, but I don't know, not her, not her. I mean, she's suffering, so we have to suffer along with her. The stress could be getting to her. It's understandable under the circumstances. Sure, boss, sure. But just because she's got a problem with Bill Parker doesn't mean she has to take it out on me. I mean, I'm not trying to intimidate. I'm not trying to put the hard word on her. I'm just trying to do my job. You could be reading this all wrong, PJ. She accused me of interfering with her case. Her case? Yes. She's right. It is her case. Well, I was on it before she got here. Well, you're here. not anymore. You're working for me now, Sergeant. And I'm telling you to give her some space and let her settle in. Give me some space as well. Go. I've heard so many versions of...